What's up everybody? Welcome to HD Piano. My name is Kale, and in today's lesson we're going over Slide by Calvin Harris and Frank Ocean. In this part one video, I'll be teaching you how to play the intro to the song. Here's how that sounds. So there you have it, a lot of really nice, thick, great chords filled with a bunch of tensions, a lot of major 7 and minor 7 chords to learn in this section. But before we dive into it, I've got a question for everybody tuning in out there. So Calvin Harris has been a very active producer over the past few years, and he's racked up tons of production credits and a lot of beats that you've heard on the radio. So my question for everybody tuning in is, what's your favorite Calvin Harris song? Comment below, we'd love to see what you guys have to say, and maybe we can teach some more of those as HD piano lessons in the future. Now let's jump into this intro a little bit. So we're starting off with an A major 7 chord. So we're going to have an A in the left hand with your pinky. And then in the right hand we're going to have an A with your thumb, a C sharp with your pointer finger, an E with your middle finger, and a G sharp with either your pinky or your ring finger. And we're going to play both of those at the same time, so your left hand and your right hand together. And now after that, we're going to play a little figure with some of the notes in these chords, or in this chord in particular. And it's going to involve a couple of rhythms that we're going to have to break down really quickly. So we're going to be using both 8th note rhythms and 16th note rhythms. And if you're not sure what those are, no worries. Basically, a quarter note is our main unit of rhythmic measurement. And quarter notes get one hit to a beat, so if I was counting beats, like 1, 2, 3, 4, a quarter note would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Pretty simple. An eighth note goes one step further than that, getting two hits to a beat. So if I was counting one, two, three, four, eighth notes would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now we count those by subdividing one, two, three, and four, like one and two and three and four and. So our eighth notes would match up like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So now 16th notes take that a step further and they add even more syllables to count because 16th notes get 4 hits to a beat. So if you're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 16th notes would sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now luckily we won't have to play that many 16th notes, but one of our main rhythms in this song is based on 16ths. So we're going to count them like this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So we have a 16th note on the beat on 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we have an E, an and, and an a. Uh. So 3 E and a uh are all separate 16th notes. Now let's look at how this applies to this A major 7 chord and slide. So we start off by holding down this A major 7 for two beats. So 1, 2. And we're also going to count to three, but on the end of three, we're going to play an A and a C sharp, which your thumb and pointer finger should already be on. So it'll be one, two, three, and. Just like that. One, two, three, and. And then we're going to follow that up on the E of beat four by playing a C sharp, an E, and a G sharp. So your fingers should already be there, and we're just going to play that rhythmically on the E of four. Now here's how that's going to sound. One, two, three, and four, E, and a. Just like that. One, two, three, and four, E, and a. Now let's try playing just that measure together really slowly. We'll do it three times in a row. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and four, E, and a. One, Two, three, and four E and a one, two, three, and four E and a. 
Okay, so that's the hardest part of the intro. After that, it's pretty smooth sailing. So we're gonna follow that up with a G sharp minor seven chord. So go ahead and play a G sharp with your ring finger in the left hand, and in the right hand we'll play a G sharp with our thumb, a B with our pointer finger, a D sharp with our ring finger, and an F sharp with our pinky. So that's gonna hold out for two beats, and then after that we're going to keep the same chord in our right hand and just move down to a low C sharp in the left hand. This is called a C sharp sus chord. So we have just a C sharp with our pinky. So all in all we have our starter bar with A major seven, two, three, and four E and a, and then we move to our G sharp minor seven for two beats, and our C sharp sus for two beats. So those are the first two bars of the intro. Now after that, we play a pretty similar figure for the next two bars, but it's slightly different. Our first chord is going to be an F minor 9, which is basically the same A major 7 shape that we just learned in the first bar. So we have an A with the thumb, a C sharp with the pointer, an E with the middle, and a G sharp with your pinky or ring finger. But in the left hand, we're going to play an F sharp with our pinky. And do our same figure with 3 and 4 E and a. Now if you've practiced that for A major, it's the same exact thing. The only thing that's changed here is your bass note. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, and four E and a. Just like that. Then after that, we're going to move back to our G sharp minor seven chord for two beats. So one, two, and we're gonna learn a new chord for the next two beats of this bar. It'll be an A major nine. So we have an A in our left hand with our pinky, and in the right hand we have a C sharp with our thumb, an E with our pointer, a G sharp with our ring finger, and a B with our pinky. So let's try recapping these first four bars of the intro, starting with our A major 7 chord. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. So that's how that's gonna sound, and then we're going to repeat this again with one small variation on the very last bar of this repeat. So we're gonna play through our whole thing again. This is the first time. Second time. And right here, on this bar, we're gonna go... So we're just going to add a high C sharp on beat four, right after our A major nine chord. The last bar of this repeat is gonna sound like this. So it'll be one, two, three, four. So directly on beat four, we're just gonna hop up, and using our sustain pedal, we'll hold down that A major nine chord, and add a high C sharp to the top of it. So three, four. And that's the only difference that time around. Then we repeat that entire chunk again. So it'll be four total times through the intro. So we have this part, right? And right here, on the very last time, we're going to just hold out this G sharp minor seven chord for one full bar. So basically the intro happens four times. On the second time, we add our high C sharp, right? Right at the end of it. And then on the fourth time, we're just going to hang on our G sharp minor seven chord. We're not gonna to go to that A major nine, the very last time of this intro. So if you're confused by that, no worries. Let's play through this entire intro very slowly, all four times, and you'll see what I mean with adding these little extra things to the end of each section. So starting off with our A major seven chord, let's try this intro really slowly. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, E, and a one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, and four E and a one, two, three, and the last time one, two, three, and four E and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four E and a hang, two, three, four. And then after that, we're to the next section, which is the main riff. So congratulations, you've learned the intro to Slide by Calvin Harris and Frank Ocean. Thanks for tuning in to this hybrid piano lesson from HD Piano. Please consider subscribing below and also following us on Twitter at HD Piano. You can tweet your song requests to us using the hashtag HD Requests. Also, we're always posting a bunch of piano content on Facebook, so go ahead and like us over there, too. And we'll see you guys over at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson, for part two of this series where we cover the main riff of the song. See you guys over there.